in this nitty gritty let's play live stream we're going to be practicing right patterson mahjong at mahjong time full disclaimer or full disclosure whatever uh we're not actually going to play right patterson mahjong we're going to play at a hong kong mahjong table because the development is still underway and right patterson mahjong isn't quite ready for beta testing yet. We're just practicing. So we will be playing at Hong Kong Mahjong table. So we'll be able to play many of the hands and even declare Mahjong if we get there. But I think uh, half of them maybe we don't follow the four blocks and a pair convention of Hong Kong Mahjong. And tonight's topic is going to be hands of honors, one of my favorite categories. I want to give a quick shout out to moderators. Thank you so much for helping moderate chat tonight. And also, I just want to say a big thank you to Slava and his team at Mahjong Time. We're very excited about playing Wright Patterson Mahjong, and I know they're hard at work developing the program. It is a little more complex than some versions, not just because of the named hands, but because it uses classical Chinese scoring, which is a little bit more complex. And we're going to be covering that topic next week. So if you've missed any of the previous deep dives, look in the video description after this live stream and catch up with the deep dives because we went into all the different categories in the green book. Hi, Sue. Welcome. You got your green book. Nice. All right. I'm going to share my screen now. Here's the presentation for tonight. So we're going to talk about hands of honors, which I love. These are my favorite, some of my favorite hands. I like them all really, but I do enjoy a big hand. So we're going to be talking about these hands. Can you hear me okay? Once I get a confirmation, we'll get started. Can you hear me and see me okay? I'm hoping so. I want to also say thank you to Suzanne, who joined as a channel member. Thank you so much for showing your support for this channel. Your support goes a long way, and I really appreciate it. All the members who have joined, thank you so much. Okay, let's get going then. So we're going to do this deep dive into Hands of Honors. First, we're going to start with a super quick review, and then we'll go into all the hands, and I'm going to share some resources. First of all, simples are tiles two through eight. There are three suits, dots, bams, and cracks. These are called simples. We have honors, which are a group of tiles with sub or segments. We have terminals, winds, and dragons. Those three segments or groupings make up honors. Honors are terminals, wins, dragons. Terminals are ones and nines. And they're called terminals because they begin and end a sequence. So tonight we're gonna be focused on honors, which are these tiles. We will not be playing with any simples, two through eight. We're not gonna be playing with those tiles. We're focused on terminals, wins, dragons which are called honors. Okay, here we go. First hand, honorettes. Honorettes is a single limit concealed hand. We have five pairs of terminals with news. So this is not part of the Hong Kong Mahjong shape. So this hand, you will not be able to win right now at Mahjong time until Wright Patterson Mahjong is fully developed because news are singles and these we have pairs with it. There's no hand in Hong Kong Mahjong that uses that shape. So this particular hand will be able to play up until the winning tile and then we'll just continue. Maybe we could start punging some of these pairs and play that way for score. Also, some people think this should have been called terminets because it's with terminals ending with news. In previous publishes, that 
name or that that nomenclature was used with terminals, pairs of terminals ending with news. So pairs of terminals with news, that's honorettes. Because really honors, honors are wins and dragons with ones and nines, but really wins and dragons themselves are more honorable, I guess you could say. And you'll see that in a few minutes. So probably terminets might have been a better name for this particular hand. No judgment, just a observation, an observation. All right, we're going to go to the next one. Heavenly hash. Heavenly hash is four puns and a pair of honors. It's a single limit pung hand. So you can call discards to help you complete this hand. Single limit pung hand. And this is a Hong Kong Mahjong hand because it's got four blocks and a pair. So this does follow the standard Hong Kong Mahjong shape. Four blocks and a pair. All pungs with a pair. Any combination. Winds, dragons, terminals. That would be heavenly hash. If you do this concealed, it would be a double limit hand. Any pung hand that is concealed until the winning tile, even if you call for it, would be a double limit hand. I think, hold on a second. I think it it might have to be a, the pair. I'm not sure. It's, it says any, hold on one second. On the website, it says any single limit hand or any single limit pung hand played concealed would be a double limit hand. But what I wonder is, does it matter if the winning tile is part of a pung? Because technically that would be an exposed pung because then you expose your hand. So that's one thing I'm not too sure about. I wanted to just look and see if, if this is, if there's a line in, about this in here. Um, in the in, in the green book, but I don't think so. What it says on the website is that any any uh, oh wait, let's see here. No, it's not in here. Any pung hand played fully concealed or concealed is a double limit hand. So anyhow. I guess we can figure that out as we go. Or maybe someone who plays can confirm. That's Heavenly Hash. Next, we have Honorable Hash. And this is ones and nines of each suit. And then, let me see. I'm going to read this one because it's Honorable Hash. Four pairs of winds and or dragons. So here we have three pairs of dragons and a pair of winds. That's a double limit concealed hand. Ones and nines in each suit with four pairs of winds and or dragons. So and or means it could be any combination of those. Okay. Next. Winds and terms, five pairs of winds and terminals with each dragon and one dragon paired. Five pairs of terminals and winds. So we have three terminals, two pairs of winds, and then red, white, and green dragon and one dragon paired. So it's any combination of winds and terminals paired up, and then one of each of the dragons, and then any one of the dragons paired. Wins in terms, single limit, concealed. Next, we have dragons in terms. So the focus is opposite. It's terminals, pairs of terminals and dragons with news. So it's the same, same hand, but the focus is more on dragons, and it's got news. Dragons in terms, five pairs of dragons and terminals with news. Single limit concealed. Next we have, oops, let's see here. I gotta fix my presentation there. Uh, newsy terminals. This is three pungs of terminals with news and one wind paired. 
New, oh, oh, ones and nines. Wait a minute. I have a boo-boo here. I thought it was, I thought it was pums. So I got to fix that. Ones and nines in each suit. Ones and nines in each suit with news and, and each, and each, boy, I, I messed this one up. Let me see here. Oh, I see what, what happened here. This is terminus. Three pungs of terminals with news and one wind paired. Let me see if I've got, here's terminal, terminus here. Terminus here. This is newsy terminals. So let me just quickly fix this. What number? What number what? Newsy terminals? Newsy terminals is number 74. We're on page 25. Let me quickly fix this. So bear with me for just a second. It should be a pretty quick fix because I've got ones and nines up here somewhere. Ones and nine. There it is right here. Ones and nines in each suit with news in each one paired. So basically news paired up. Okay, let's see. So we have wins here, here. So that goes away. And then we have that one and this one. Okay, so then these go away. Those go there. And then we have news here. Bear with me while I fix this because I want people in the future to be able to, oh, here we go. I want people in the future to see this correctly. So I'm sorry that I have to do this right now, but it's going to be helpful for future viewers. So thank you for watching the repost. And here's West. It doesn't have to be perfect, Michelle. And then here's South. Something like that. Okay, ones and nines in each suit. News paired up. Okay, so I'm going to save. And then we're going to, from current slide, and switch. Switch. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Here we are. Newsy terminals. Ones and nines in each suit with news paired. News paired. N-E-W-S. Paired up. That's newsy terminals. News. Each one paired. News paired. Next we have terminus. That is three pungs of terminals with news and one win paired. Double limit pung hand. Okay, so I just wanted to check. Newsy terminals is double limit concealed. Terminus double limit pung. So you can pung those. Now this is not a winnable hand because it's got news. It's got singles. Next we have grand terminals. It's four pungs and a pair of terminals. Double limit pung hand. Grand terminals. This one's kind of hard. Four pungs and a pair of terminals. This is a winnable hand at Hong Kong Mahjong because it's four blocks and a pair. Here we have terms of honors. This is three pairs of terminals with seven odd honors and one honor paired. And what that means is news with, with each of the dragons and then any one of those paired. That is called seven odd honors and one honor paired. So the pair is with news or dragons, not one of the ones and nines. So you wouldn't, for example, have news, red, white, and green dragon, and one of these pairs be a pung of ones and nines. That's not how it works. It has to be three pairs of terminals and then news with red, white, and green dragon and any wind or dragon paired. That's seven odd honors. That is double limit concealed. That's number 77. Okay, next. We have angels. This is my favorite all-time hand. One and nine of each suit. News with one of each of the dragons. And then any tile paired. That's angels. Any terminal wind or dragon can be paired here. The dragon is paired in this example. This is a double limit concealed hand. And this is a Hong Kong Mahjong hand. This is, I think, a hand in every version of Mahjong, I believe. Most versions. Well, I can just for sure say Hong Kong Mahjong, Mahjong competition rules, 
Richi Mahjong, all versions of Richi Mahjong, and then also Wright Patterson Mahjong. I believe this is in Western Mahjong. So it's in a lot of versions. It's called it's called something different, but in Wright Patterson Mahjong, it's called Angels. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. I'm not answering that call. Okay, next is Heavenly Twins. This is seven pairs of terminals, winds, and dragons, any combination. This is a double limit concealed hand. Heavenly Twins. Next, we have Honorable Twins. This is where you have no terminals, just winds and dragons paired up, all pairs. And incidentally, the, these three hands are all winnable at on a Hong Kong Mahjong table because you can play seven, uni seven unique pair at Mahjong time for Hong Kong Mahjong. The only thing that I'm not sure about Honorable twins, Kongs can be used with both heavenly twins and honorable twins. That is not going to work, though, at Mahjong time, because with Hong Kong Mahjong, the pair hands have to be unique. So if you have a Kong for two pair, you won't be able to declare Mahjong. They have to be unique. But with Wright Patterson Mahjong, you can use Kongs as two pair. Clearly, they're not going to be exposed. They have to be held in your hand. So you can't do a concealed Kong because then it wouldn't be two, two pair. It would be a Kong. So you can't claim a discard to help you make your pairs there. Okay, next we have Dragon Snooze. Three pairs of dragons, or three pungs of dragons with news and one win paired. This is not winnable because we have singles with news there. But one of each of the dragons, that's hard to get. There is a hand in Hong Kong Mahjong called Three Great Scholars, where you have pungs of all three dragons, and then your other block and pair can be anything. That's really hard to get, and it's a very big hand. But here, you have to have news and a pair of wins. This is a double limit pung hand for the dragons. The next one is Dragon Gale. Dragon Gale is a double limit pung hand, and that is four pungs and a pair of wins and or dragons, any combination, just no terminals. So Dragon Snooze and Dragon Gale, you cannot use terminals. It's wins and dragons only. Then we have Dragon Wick. Now, Dragon Wick is similar to Dragon Snooze, but here you have a Pung and a pair of wins. The wins have to be specific, though. You have to have your own or prevailing wind and then a pair of any other wind. So if you are sitting in East Seat and South is prevailing, South is where the wall was broken, then you can use east or south for your pung and then a pair of any other wind. This is a winnable hand. So is Dragon Gale, by the way. Both Dragon Gale and Dragon Wick are winnable at Mahjong time at a Hong Kong Mahjong table right now because that follows the Hong Kong Mahjong standard, four blocks and a pair. Dragon Wick is a triple limit pung hand, very big and very hard to get. It's the dragons that make it hard because a lot of times other people are going to be holding dragons because dragons can give you value. That's why it's so hard to gather them because there's only four and you can't use jokers. No jokers with Wright Patterson Mahjong. All right. The next, let's see here. I have a little boo-boo in there. I'll fix this later. Um, the next one is Emperor's Robes. All these, by the way, are triple limit pung hands. This is where you have specific tiles with pungs of dragons. So you have, in addition to a pung of each of the dragons, you have to have a pung of east. And then you also have a pair of nine. You have to have a pair of nine dots. It's very specific. And that's why it's so hard. So it's hard not only because of the dragons, being punged, but also you have to have a pair of east and a, a pung of east and a pair of nine dots. Next, we have cranes in flight, another very specific hand. 
You have to have a comb of one bams held in your hand. So this cannot be exposed. You have to have it held in your hand. And then you have to have two pungs of winds and two pairs of winds. It could be any one of them. It doesn't have to be your own or prevailing wind or anything like that. It can just be any combination of winds, but you have to have two pairs and two pungs of winds. And then we have ping pong, ping pong, two pungs of terminals in one suit, two pungs in a second suit, and a pair of terminals in a third suit. That is a triple limit pung hand. Emperor's robes, cranes in flight, ping pong. So just remember, emperor's robes and cranes in flight are specific tiles. So be very careful when you're playing those. Otherwise, you'll end up be playing for score, which will still be really good, by the way. Okay, that's it. Does anybody have any questions about the hands of honors? I'm just going to quickly fix this while we wait. Uh, let's see here. We already have Dragon Snooze. Uh, let me see here. Oh, oops. Let me undo that. Dragon Snooze, Dragon Gale, Dragon Wick. We already have them up there. They're right up there. I guess I had extras here. So I'm going to copy this. We'll fix this real quick. And then this one. And now that's ready to go. Current slide. And we'll switch it out. Okay. Any questions about Hands of Honors? Oh, darn it. How'd that happen? Okay. So Emperor's Robes, Cranes in Flight, and Ping Pong. Ping Pong. Ping Pong, like a ping pong table. Ping Pong, the game. All right. So the tip that I have for you is just, if you're gathering for a hand of honors, don't focus on simples or suits. Now, if you're playing the specific hands, you got to be mindful, like Emperor's Robes and Cranes in Flight. You have pairs of nine dots and a Kong of one bands. So those are specific. Uh, and then, of course, if you're playing Angels or the hand with ones and nines, I think it's Newsy Terminals, you do have to focus on suits. But overall, your focus is going to be on hoarding Terminals, Winds, and Dragons. If you're playing a Pung hand, don't commit until you have your pairs and also most of your singles. You have to be very careful if you have singles too. I would have those in your hand before you commit with a Pung because you could be painting yourself into a corner and you'll have to switch to a score only if you aren't able to get your singles and pairs. Okay. Next, I just want to remind you about where you can get the green book and a blue book those are both the book of hands so that you can reference them while you play the game. You can get that at, on this website. I believe there's a link in the video description below. Also join my Facebook group because we talk about uh, Wright Patterson Mahjong there as well as other versions. So follow me on Facebook at Maj Life, hashtag Maj Life. And then also consider joining the Mahjong Military Network, Wright Patterson Rules Facebook group. Those are specifically for Wright Patterson Mahjong. And then also, just a reminder, Wednesday nights, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern time are Wright Patterson Mahjong live streams. And then on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern time will be a pre-recorded skill builder video for you to help you as you learn how to play Wright Patterson Mahjong. And now we're going to go play the game. So I'll go ahead and share my other screen. So we can join a table and play Wright Patterson Mahjong on Hong Kong, Hong Kong Mahjong tables. So let's go ahead and join this table. Oh, no, no. We need to create a table. So uh, let's see. We're going to call it WP, WPMJ. 
uh, we'll call it dash one, just in case we have to restart WPMJ dash one, 250, uh, quick mahjong, uh, we'll just say 20 seconds. And then you got to have eight points, which is three fawn, and then white belt can come and we will create the game. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do something. Um, I forgot to say we have to seat the players. Okay, I'll have to go do it again in a minute. Oh, there's Laura. Let's see. So we're just going to have to start here because I forgot to pick. Um, oh, good. Pat's with us. Hi, Pat. Uh, so AM, it says. AM? What do you mean AM? AM? Where does it say AM? We just need one more person to join us. AM? What do you mean, Sue? AM? Hopefully someone will join us pretty soon and we'll get a play. Eight point minimum. We're going to hoard winds, dragons, and terminals. Hopefully we won't have to wait too much longer. Uh, my announcement. Oh, okay. I'll go back and fix it. I think the, for practice play. Okay. I'll go back and look at it and make any changes and put a note in the comment section under the video in the video description, basically. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting because we have only three honors. So <laughs> we have a long way to go. I'm going to force a hand of honors. So we're going to, we're going to start with East and West. <laughs> we have a long way to go here. If I weren't playing a hand of honors, I think I would probably try for Eleanor, which is a pung of East, a pair of red Six and three, num three pungs of number tiles, three dots. Okay, there's a green dragon, so that'll help us. Eight bamboos. So we have another honor. Now we have four. Three bamboos. Let's see here. Let me just go look at that. Five bamboos. Two dots. There's another keeper, east. Six bamboos. We have a pung now. Five characters. Seven characters. Um, oh yeah, pass. We're 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 hoarding honors. Okay, so on my on the announcement, as you say Three in chat, bamboos. that's when the pre-recorded video is is published. So that is correct. It's nine a.m. characters. Nine a.m. on Wednesdays. That's when a pre-recorded video Eight is dots. published on YouTube. It's not practice play. Seven it's dots. just it's just a. Uh, skill builder Five video dots. that you can watch we're gonna pass there's a bam we're gonna hold it it looks like we might Eight be able characters. to do something with terminals now Six we're gathering dots. here maybe we can try for four characters well we have a long way to go i wouldn't pick a hand yet six bamboo i would just keep gathering five dots Five out. dots Four dots. We'll pass. Eight characters. Seven. Hey bamboos. Shirley, thank you for joining as a member. Seven characters. Welcome. I know you're not new to this community. Six dots. You've been part of the community for a long time, so thank you for joining. I Eight appreciate characters. it. We're hoarding honors. We're we're trying to play a hand of honors. Seven so characters. at the moment, I'm kind of thinking Heavenly Eight Hash characters. because we could pung the West. Heavenly Hash, number Two 70, bamboos. four pungs and a pair Nine of honors bamboos. and or terminals, any any combination. Six dots. That I'm thinking he Heavenly Hash at the moment. Four bamboos. Let's see here. East and West. Five dots. One and nine, nine in each bamboos. suit. Let's get rid of these eight dots. pairs here. 
three bamboos. Four oh, characters. okay. Well, thank you, Shirley. Okay, so we're we're maybe gonna play Heavenly Hash. Nine bamboos. Heavenly Hash here. There's another terminal. Five bamboos. It's any any combination of ones, nines, winds, and dragons. Five bamboos. Four pungs and a pair of ones, nines, winds, and dragons. Single limit pung hand. Seven bamboos. So if if a west goes down, we'll get a pung that, but we have a ways to go. Red dragon. Okay. Uh, we'll. Eight dots. Let that eight go. Now we have a pair of ones. Two dots. So we could pung there. Three we're we're characters. getting there. We came a long way, actually. Look, we have only two pairs of simples at the moment. White dragon. Okay, so let's let the four go. Four dots. So we have Laura Six with a chow. Characters. One, two, three. Maybe she's playing a Chinese tea Pung. hand. Or maybe one, two, three, four, six. Green dragon. She could be playing a jewel hand right there. Jewel six hand. Bamboos. One, two, three, four, six would be three characters. Is that Ruby? No. No. Uh oh. Pung. Uh one, two, three. Nine. Is that characters. a Chinese tea hand? Let me see. Kong. Cracks. Pungs. Uh oh. Five I think she's, um, I don't think that is not a Hong Kong Mahjong hand. I mean, that is a, Five that's dots. a Hong Kong Mahjong hand. Oh, Four you know what? Characters. They are, they are not a, um, that they are playing a Hong Kong Mahjong hand. That is not Chinese teas. Five they characters. are playing a nice big hand, but anyway. Mahjong. All right. So they played a Hong Kong Mahjong hand. This is why we kind of want to have all right Patterson players at the table because we could get a player who's going to play a big hand like that. So we're not going to repeat this table. I want to be able to seat people. Um, let's see. So Patty oh. made a pretty good progress too. She's got a Kong of nines. She was going for heavenly hash, it looks like. Oh. And then here we have Laura. It looks like she might have been trying for also heavenly hash we were all trying for heavenly hash so i'm going to exit and then i'm going to create a new table where i seat the players maybe we'll get someone else uh, another wright patterson mahjong wright patterson wpmj-2 is what we're going to play at this time and i will seat the players 20 seconds we're going to have a white belt. Okay. Um, I think we're, oh, eight point minimum. Okay, here we go. Look for WPMJ2. WPMJ2. Oh, sure, surely you may, oh, okay. No, we're, we're good. Okay. So we're just waiting for people to join the table now. And if, if somebody joins us who are uh, someone who's playing uh, Hong Kong Mahjong, that's okay. It'll just, we'll just have to try to play a winnable hand and get there just as quick as they do. Because all the hands of honors that are winnable are going to be, they will be um, eligible for the eight point minimum. Okay, so we just need one more, one more player to join us. Oh, and I'll go full screen. Sorry, I should have gone full screen back there. I forgot. Does anybody have any questions about hands of honors? I think they make pretty good sense. They're hard to get. Double, single limit, triple. Mostly double, but a few triples in there. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna seat this player here, and they may be playing a Hong Kong mahjong hand. So if you can try to win quicker than them, <laughs> or maybe one of us can try. Let's see if we get more honors this time. No, no. Oh my goodness! Look at this. We have three, one nine, and a south. Okay, I think we should go ahead and just hold dots just to see. Maybe we could play something with dots only. 
So let's discard the two. Two bamboos. We do have, we have sixes and sevens. Let's we did win. have two seven. If I were not forcing a hand of honors, I would think about maybe playing double One numbers. Bamboo. Double numbers would be uh, the same two numbers in two Four suits. Characters. With a pair of Windsor Dragons, I believe, is what that is. And we could still do that. Two characters. We could still play double numbers here. Let me just double check on double numbers. Double Nine numbers dots. is number 50. Two pungs of the same number in Three two suits bamboos. with a pair of winds or dragons. And that is a Hong Kong Mahjong hand. Five characters. We'll pass. We have a wind. Three bamboos. All right. So we have one, two, six, seven, nine, one, nine, and ooze. We have ooze. Five characters. Nine bamboos. Let's just see how this develops. Six dots. Oh, that would be our tile Five there. Five bamboos. If I weren't playing a hand of honors, maybe at this point, I would switch One to dot. news lineup. News lineup is a sequence hand. Seven bamboos. Just because we're kind of developing a sequence. This would be a sequence of one and nine and one Seven suit characters. with news and one win paired. That would be number 12. Six characters. And we did pick up a dragon here. So we're going to keep gathering. News lineup has some potential here. We don't need a pair of sevens, Three dots. though. So this seven dot probably can go. Five I wouldn't pick a hand of honor yet. We have a ways to go before we can do anything. There's a one and a nine dot out right now. Three dots. Eight characters. A lot of cracks are out. Not many dots. Six characters. We're trying nine to bamboos. gather ones and nines, winds and dragons. Two nine bams are out. Two dots. A one bam is out. There's a nine bam. Seven characters. Maybe we'll be able to play terms. Let's see, what was it called? Let's see. On let's see, honorettes. Five Eight pairs. Characters. Five pairs of terminals with news. We have a Four long way bamboos. to go for that, though. But we might also be able to do newsy terminals, ones and nines in each suit with news and one win paired. So let's just see how this goes. We have a ways to go yet. But we're kind of in between. I think the seven dot can go for sure. Eight characters. Oh, we paired up seven a dragon. Characters. We paired up a dragon. So we're going to let the dots go now. And this Hong Kong Mahjong player is probably going to say, what in the world, what in the world are these people doing with these Two discards? Characters. It's probably going to look really confusing to them because you can kind of tell what someone is doing based on their discards. Six dots. There's an E. Seven dots. Okay, so this is shaping up for honorettes. We need to pair Nine up our dragons. terminals, though. There are two nine bams out right nine now. Nine characters. Ones and nines are going down. One character. Oh, no. Five dots. I'm going to discard five, five, four, five, six. Those are Red really dragon. efficient tiles. Oh, okay. Let's go for Heavenly Hash. We're going to pong. Hmm. We're going to expedite. Six We're going to play Heavenly Hash, number 70. Four pungs Seven and a pair dots. of honors and or terminals in honors and or terminals. Red dragon. So you can do winds, dragons, ones, nines, pung, four pungs and a pair. We can pung the One character. East. We just need to pair up so we can pung. Four dots. Eight dots. It'd be nice if we could pair up the west and south. Six characters. Somebody else is holding winds. One character. Oh, we got the nine. That Seven can be our dots. pair. 
we still need a pair in here. So there's our pair. Four dots. We have a pair. That's good. Five characters. Seven bamboos. Oh, we don't need a five dot. Five dots. Two characters. Seven characters. Somebody's playing maybe a pair hand. Two dots. Wins are, oh, there's an east. Two dots. Nice, we got an east. We have a pung of east in here now. So we have two pungs and a pair. We still have a Seven long way bamboos. to go. And we have four more picks. Four, four more bamboos. picks. And two discards, I think. One, Eight one and nine. We don't need a two. Two bamboos. There's one one and one nine dot out. Nine crack. North I see wind. one. So there's one of each of these tiles out. Three characters. We want to optimize the ability to pair up so we can pong. South wind. We got the one bam. How many one bams? One, one, one bam is out. Let's see. Cracks, bams, dots. Let's throw the nine dot or the nine crack. Nine characters. It's kind of six, one half dozen the other at this nine point. Nine characters. Okay, so I'm glad I threw that. Three characters. We need to pair up. Nine dots. Oh. Okay, so now that can Pong go characters. because we won't be able to pong because there are two out now. We already have our pair of nine bams. So the nine dot can go now. One dot. And now the one dot can go also. Four characters. Because there are two out. We've got to be able to pong. Oh, and there's only one more pick. One more pick and we have two discards, so we won't be Eight able to win. Dots. So we'll let the one, one go. One dot. That was discarded already. Five dots. All right, wall game. And I'm sure this other player is probably wondering what we were doing. Okay, so we're. I'm going to quickly click. I'm going to click play again, so we can start over. So I saw a one suit and honor hand, and I I saw two four six eight going on. So we're back at WPMJ two. WPMJ two. And I did hear from Slava. He said that development is going really well. They're getting closer to uh, beta testing. We haven't, I haven't gotten official news on when beta testing will begin, but I think it's going to happen pretty soon. I'm hoping some, I'm hoping sometime this year will maybe even this in the imminently is my hope, of course, but it could be later. I don't know. It just depends on on how it's going. So I'm I'm hoping to be able to give you guys some news soon. So they are are working on it. I was hoping he would let me know so I can share news tonight. Okay, let's see. I see a question. Sue's asking, is it the flower wall of tiles left in the game? Yes. The when in Wright Patterson Mahjong, when you roll the dice to break the wall, you create the flower wall, which is made up of 14 tiles, two stacks or seven stacks of two. And that's where you get your replacement tiles for flowers and Kongs. And when the, when the pick and discard gets up to the last stack of flower wall tiles, you stop. So sometimes your winning tile could be in the flower wall. And that's unfortunate when that happens. And sometimes you'll see people in a live game dig through the flower wall or the unplayed wall with the pick and discard tiles you don't want to do that just move on to the next game and don't don't pick through the unplayed tiles just move on it's kind of a, a etiquette uh oh what uh no 
That's weird. Okay, here we go. So the, the wall that's dark, that is the flower wall. So there's the flower wall over there. We have two flowers exposed. So that then there's six stacks left for picking for um, flower replacement and calm supplement tile. And we have um, five winds and dragons. We have a one. So we're gonna a character. we're gonna try to maybe go for angels. We've got Six a nice bamboo. collection of dragons and winds. So we're gonna try to hoard ones, nines, winds, Three and dragons characters. and see if maybe we can try angels Six or dots. another hand of honor. So we're just going to seven dots discard from the inside out. That's going to sort of sabotage Red dragon. Any Pung or chat Pung hand or even a Chow hand bamboo. with Do three, bamboo. four, five. So we're going to pass. Five characters. So three, four or four, five, six. Those are the tiles we're going to try to discard here to try to thwart other. Play, One dot. The um, Hong Kong Mahjong player, maybe. So it looks like they might be playing cracks. So let's let these the three crack go next. Five bamboos. Two characters. We're playing concealed, so we just need to Three gather. Three characters. They have bams and dots in front of them, so I think they're playing cracks. Seven bamboos. Oh, no, no. The player on our left is the Hong Kong Three Mahjong bamboos. player. One bamboo. Patty is across from us. Okay, so we're going to pass. Let's let that... So next week is going to be the last deep dive video. And then we're just going to start practicing no more presentations for a while. Uh, so One we're going bamboo. to look at scoring next week, which will be fun. Okay. So we're going to hold Two that. Characters. That is a terminal. One and nine. One and nine we need. Those are terminals. Ones and nines. Are Nine part, of, part of honors, so we're going to keep that. So we've got one nine winds dragons. We're going to keep hoarding. Six dots. So we'll, let's let the fours Three go next. Characters. Four dots. Fours go next. Four bamboos. Well, yeah, pass. Seven characters. Six characters. All right, all five. We'll five let that go bamboos. first. That's a middle number. We don't want to hold on to that. Eight bamboos. Two bamboos. Four dots. Okay, so let's let the four go. Four bamboos. There's a pair of nines now. Nine bamboos. What Six hand are we dots. going for? One character. We we still might be able to play angels, but we have a ways to go yet with our ones Three and dots. nines. There's a one, uh, let's see, not two nine bams are out. So that's my concern right now for Eight angels. Bamboos. We need ones and nines of each suit, one of each wind and dragon, and then any tile paired. Eight so dots. we are shaping up for angels. Eight bamboos. Okay, there's a west. We need that. Three dots. Yep. Uh, right Patterson is played worldwide because when any any family is stationed overseas if they play mahjong the spouses club will have a group that plays most likely but not every base has a mahjong Two group dots. you still might have to teach people how to play 
that four dots in in the Air Force is where you find most Mahjong, uh, Red four Patterson dots. Mahjong players. Okay, so we'll let Three that go. Bamboos. So we're looking at number 80, angels. Ones and nines in four each suit dots. with seven odd honors and any tile paired. Three dots. This is called 13 orphans in other Three versions. Characters. There's a one crack. Four bamboos. Look how far we've come here. Let's see, we need a nine Six bam dots. badly. That is the ideal tile for us to pick. Uh, nine bam eight dots we need a nine bam and then a a nine Six crack bamboos. we got the dragon okay well this is where i Three start bamboos. thinking about punging but we need nine way more dots. okay we're not going to take that we're going to wait we're closer to angels than we are anything else we're two away Seven dots we're two away. Five this is bamboos. this is totally possible here. Okay, now two bamboos. now we have three pair. So this is where I would start North wind. to consider pungs. Maybe switch to heavenly Seven hash. Dots. Two dots. Heavenly hash. Okay, we don't need Six that. Bamboos. Heavenly hash is number seventy. South. We wind. need a lot more pairs though. Let's see, one, two, and a pair. We have one, two more pick, three, three more picks, two more picks. We have too many discards, so we're going to let it go. If we start punging, we still need to pair up Seven in order dots. to pung to make heavenly hash. So Five I would, characters. I would not switch with this. I would just Six try to bamboos. force a wall game with this one. But one we, we got close to angels. We got two away, which is pretty good for starting just with three tiles, I think is where we started. Nine characters. West Wind. Oh, White Dragon. All right, let's see here. Uh, North was just discarded. North Wind. We have one, two, three, four pair. We could have, if we had more time. East Wind. If we had more time, we could have maybe switched to Heavenly Twins which is seven pairs of winds, dragons, and terminals. Okay, so it looks like uh, Patty was trying for 13 orphans also. And then Laura, maybe um, Valentine, I think. All right, so hopefully we'll get a, more honors to start with. That's really the only way you can be a front runner with a hand of honors is if you start with a lot of them in the beginning. You've got to start with a lot of them because people hold them typically for score. So it's very difficult to do. So I'm not surprised we're having wall games. <laughs> Peg, I haven't learned. Yes, you have. You're doing good. You're learning. So we're just waiting for people to start uh, to join us. WPMJ2, hopefully people will join. I want to say thank you to Laura and Patty for joining us at the tables. I appreciate you being here to help us practice. Okay, so let's see here. East, south, west. Okay. We just need one more player. We just need one more player. Sue says, I'm trying to learn, but too old to join the Air Force. <laughs> Do you happen to live near a base? Because sometimes players will play at a club 
or maybe play at, you know, like a local restaurant or something. Okay, so we have a Hong Kong Mahjong table. They're a green belt with a, a green belt with a black stripe, so they're pretty good. So you're probably going to see one suit in honors, Pung Chow. So be, be ready. We're going to have a hard battle here because we have only three honors. Okay, so we're going to hold dragons and then the nine. We do have a pair of four cracks. We could do maybe double numbers, four, seven, if we switch. We could potentially play double numbers here, four, seven, four, seven. Four, seven. Or maybe four, five. So I would hold those tiles over there for double numbers. Eight dots. Okay, so let's discard uh, two bam, I guess. Two bamboos. West wind. Six bamboos. Five dots. We're just going to discard these bams. We got a pair now. Five bamboos. Pair of nine bams. Red dragon. One character. Four bamboos. Oh, let's let the three go. Three dots. We're kind of pairing up here. We have sevens and an eight now. So let's see. Let's eight bamboos. We have all the sevens. Let's let this five dot go next. Seven characters. Four characters. I'm looking forward to playing any hand as opposed as opposed to playing five dots. As opposed to playing specific hands. It's nice if you can if you can play throughout the book. Uh Sue's asking, do the numbers on the flowers mean something in Wright Patterson? Yeah. Uh Yes, because you can get doubles for having your own or prevailing flower. You get four Five points characters. for each flower for score, and then you get to four double dots. your score if you have the flower for your seat or the flower for prevailing. So, for example, West Eight or Player dots. 3, that would be the flower I Seven have here. Bamboos. That is a prevailing flower, I believe. Hold on one second. Let me double check. I'm kind of rusty with scoring. We're going to pass. Uh, let's see. Owner prevailing flower. Yes, you get one double. So we're sitting, we are in south seat. That's number two. North so wind. we could get <coughs> doubles if we get a two flower. There's a two flower on our left and a three flower. So east would get doubles for one and three. One and three because seat three west is prevailing. So right now we would get four points and a double if we were to just play this out to scoring. But we have to have something else other than that. You, there's not enough to go by there. We need way more. And we've East we've wind. got mixed suits. This is a hot mess right now. Four characters. We need we need more honors. <laughs> this is terrible. Five okay, characters. so <laughs> we're gonna let the fours Red go. Red dragon. What I see here is potential for big chows. Either big chows or maybe is it sukiyaki? Eight characters. Let's see here. Where are the? Oh, we're gonna pass. We're playing concealed, probably. Okay, Four so dots. Uh, let's see here. Mix Four suits. Dots. No, not sukiyaki. Chow mein. I always forget the Chinese takeout. Chows of seven, eight, nine in each suit seven with news bamboo. and one wind paired. The problem is we have dragons, not winds. Three bamboos. Oh, there's a west. Four characters. Finally, we get a we get a wind. So we're kind of close to Chow. Chow Mein at the moment. Chow Mein. Seven dots. Seven, eight, nine in each suit with news and one win paired. We have the BAMs. 
We just need eight dot many crack. characters. And then we need news. And one win pair. Six characters. Oh, we got an east. Four characters. So if we're not going to do chow mein, either way, we don't need the seven. Bam. Chow. We might be able to switch to chow mein. Number, that's number Three 66. Dots. Number 66 on page 24. We might be able to switch to, is it terminets? Terminets. We'd have to throw away the dragons, though. Let's see. Six bamboos. Maybe we could play wins in terminals. Three bamboos. Wins in terminals, number 71. Five pairs of wins and terminals with each dragon and one paired. One dot. I'm kind of thinking we could either do that or dragons in terms. It's very close. Those Three hands dots. are very close to each other. Uh, let's Six see. dots. Two dots. Eight dots. We need way more keepers in here. This is not looking good. Eight characters. Six bamboos. We need a keeper in here. Dragon. That's a keeper. Seven bamboos. Okay, so I'm thinking either number 71 or 72. Wins in terms or dragons in terms. We, of course, need many more pairs. <laughs> of terminals and wins. So I'm thinking four dots. I'm thinking the sevens can go now and this eight. One dot. We're gonna let the cracks go first. Seven characters. Because this player to our right is playing in Five cracks. Bombers. So we need to let these cracks go now. We gotta thwart their hand. One dot. Sabotage. We're going to sabotage their hand. One bamboo. Seven characters. Six dots. Three bamboos. Two bamboos. We need a keeper. That would not be a Two keeper bamboos. for us. South wind. Hmm. Five pairs of five pairs. Three bamboos. Hmm. We have a long way to go. And we only have three more picks. One we're, we're not going to be able to win at all. So we're just going to play defense at this point. Let's see that two crack probably. Oops. All right, so they won one suit and honors. One suit and honors, chow hand, plus no flowers. Okay, so let's see. We're going to take a quick peek. It looks like we have term wins and terms across from us, and then probably Dazzle on our uh, Laura was playing Dazzle. So I think wins, wins and terms is what Patty was trying. She had wins and terminals. Uh, let's see, five pairs of wins, but she didn't have any dragons. She might have been trying for, um, let's see, newsy terminals, maybe newsy terminals or terminus, maybe. Uh, Sue's asking how I learned. This is the version that I learned when I was 12 years old. I've been playing this version since 1973. I learned from my mom. My mom taught me. We played just the two of us. Newsy Terminals is what Patty was playing. Thank you, Patty. Okay, so yes, I learned I learned how to play from my mom, and I, it, I just have some really great memories uh, playing with her. She, on occasion, would let me skip school and go play with her and her friends because they played at the club, the officers club on Fridays. So she would, yes, Air Force. 
uh, she would let me skip school and go play with her all day. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Very special. I got dressed up and we would uh, start the game at around nine and um, we would play until noon, have lunch and then play until three. And so we would have a morning session and an afternoon session and people would come and go to one or both sessions and we would just play Mahjong all day. It was so much fun. And then uh, we would always play during holidays with my brothers and sisters once they grew a little bit older and learned how to play. Because I'm the oldest of six kids. Or no, no. I'm the oldest girl of six kids. I have an older brother. But my other siblings had to grow up a little bit before they could learn the game because it's, it's a bit complex. So, yeah, that's how I learned how to play. Hashtag love mom. Yes. Yes. Let me see here. Oops. No. Oy, oy. I'll have to go to that later. Oh, here we go. Okay. So uh, let's put Laura, I guess, as east and then south and then west. Hopefully someone will join us very soon. Thank you again, Laura and Patty, for joining, joining the live stream. And, oh, Peg is joining us. Nice. Welcome, Peg. And we're off. We have all Ray Patterson Mahjong players now. Okay, so it's um, 7 o'clock. I am going to open it up to play anything now. We're just going to play anything, any hand. So here we have mostly BAMs, pair of twos. I think I would hold one, two, three, because we might be able to play a Chinese takeout. I guess it would be three characters. Um, let me see. Which one is it? I always forget which one it is. Chop suey. Chop suey, maybe. One, two, three in each suit with news. Or we could maybe play one suit in honors of some kind with BAMs. So I would probably start Plum by discarding characters. the six, uh, seven, eight. So let's discard eight dot. Eight dots. We're going to see about playing either BAMs, Wins and Dragon, or One Suit and Honors with BAMs, or Six One, Two, dots. Three. So we'll see. We'll see how this develops. We might be able to do chop, chop Suey. Easy chop win. Suey, number 62. Number 62 on page 24. Nine bamboos. And we're playing concealed, so we just need to gather. Oh, there's a dragon. Seven dots. We got a dragon now. Pair of twos. Three characters. We have ones. We might be able to switch to a hand of honors if we start gathering honors, but at the moment, Six we might characters. be able to switch to Betty. Betty is a pair hand. That is number 10. A Three bamboos. pairs of simples in one suit Eight with dots. one of each of the winds and dragon dragons Eight and then dots. any honor paired. No terminals, though. Five it's the characters. opposite of angels. Instead of ones and nines in each suit, it's three one pairs bamboo. of simples in one suit. Five dots. Saying the hand number is helpful? Okay. Hmm. I'll try to remember that. I try Four to, dots. anytime I say a name of a hand, I try to name the hand. Eight characters. So now we have a pair of fours. I would give up on Three dots. I would give up on the chop suey hand. Chop suey was a mixed suit hand. And that would have been seven dots. Number 62, but we're not going to do that because now we have a pair of fours. I think Betty, number 10. Two dots. I think we're closer to that than anything else because we have two pair of simples. Simples, again, are ones and are two through eight. No terminals. So we do have a five BAM in there we could pair up. 
let's see if we can get more winds and dragons. We need red dragon, east and south, and then one of those paired. Oh, now here we have a nine dot and a one dot. Okay, so let's let the cracks go first. Three characters. Because um, we have the makings of angels at the moment. We're one tile better towards Betty. So we'll see how that Six goes. Characters. Betty is number 10. And angels is number 80. Six dots. Okay, so we'll let that four, four dots. go. Nine characters. Seven characters. One dot. Oh, we got a six bam. So now we're going to have to make six a choice. Six characters. Six characters. Seven characters. Four bamboo. I'm thinking Betty. We're playing concealed. Oh, there's a one crack. Okay. Oh, man. All right. We don't need both of these. Let's let the six go. Six bamboo. We're, we're in between Betty or angels. One character. Okay. We have the one crack. We need nine bam. One is out. We need a nine crack. One is out. Did we throw that? I don't think so. That must have been thrown by somebody else. One character. Nine bamboos. We needed that too. Now two are out. So, and there's a hesitation. So I think we probably should hoard bams and let the terminals go. Pung. Yeah, for sure now, because we can't get the nines. So we'll let these ones and nines go. So we're back to maybe one bamboo. Maybe Betty, number 10. Seven bamboos. We're going to just keep one bams. character. And all simples are going to be helpful. South wind. All bams for now, because we could always switch to maybe dazzle, which is number seven five three pairs dots. in one suit with red white and green dragon and one dragon paired one character or we could switch maybe to oh now we have lots of bams look at that one two Nine three dots. i don't think we we did give up one bam here we gave up a six West wind. when we were in between a hand of honors and maybe bams so we didn't give up too much we can still Six maybe dots. play Razzle, Dazzle, or Betty. Razzle is five pairs in one suit with news. That's number six. Six bamboo. So number six, number seven, or number ten. There's a north. One dot. So we have a pair now. We're, we're getting dots. closer to Betty at this point, and we actually have a potential to win this. Uh, there are not a whole lot of bams out. Four Let's see. Dots. There's two sixes, a seven, an eight, and a four. So we need to optimize our potential to eight pair bamboos. up. We don't need cracks. Five characters. Two characters. We need east and south in here. I think with all these four bands, characters. I might even consider playing Razzle, hmm. which is... We don't need a pair of wins, though. That's the thing. Maybe playing Red news dragon. lineup would be the way to go here. Because with news line, no, we'd have to throw away two Nine pairs. Dots. I think we should try for Betty. Three characters. We need a red dragon, a east, and a south. And we need to pair up another simple. That would be Seven number characters. 10. Number 10. Nine characters. So maybe the one bam can go. Pung. Oh, nines. Wow. Yeah, let's let's let this one bam go next. 
we're gonna three dots. we're gonna try to play Betty. We don't we can't use terminals with Betty. Three bamboos. Okay, that is a we would need a pair there. We're gonna let the one go now. One bamboo. Because that is a terminal, and it looks like Laura is playing Five characters. She's playing maybe uh, two dots. Maybe she's trying to play terminus. Eight bamboos. She's trying to play turn. Oh, we got the red dragon. Eight nice. characters. Nice. We're we're very close to Betty right now. Five bamboos. Okay, so let's see if she is one dot. Three pounds of terminals with news and one wind pair. Red dragon. That's my guess for Laura. Terminus. Eight characters. With puns. But she could also be playing Heavenly Hash. Seven characters. Terminus is number 75 and Heavenly Hash is number 70. Just so you know. Two characters. I mean, maybe she's trying for grand terminals, but I don't think so. There's Green a, dragon. There's a lot of terminals out. There's another pair. Okay, so let's see. Three bam. Seven bam. Oh my goodness. Four bam. Five bam. Let's let the five bam go. Five bamboo. Oh, you know what? We're not going to make it anyway. We only get one more pick, and we have two discards. Green dragon. We got close, though. Two characters. We got very close. So it looks like um, Patty was trying for Wally, it looks like. And then uh, Laura, it looks like she was trying for, I don't know. And then Peg looks like news lineup. Those would be my guesses. I think maybe Laura was trying for Heavenly Hash. Oh, Patty says I had her too, Bam. Yeah, she was, I, you were trying for Wally, Patty? Were you trying for Wally? It looked like Wally. Wally is three pungs of simples in different numbers, different suits with what a puma west and a pair of white dragon that's wally that's a number hand and number hands are all on page 22. you cannot use terminals in number hands oh laura killed the news lineup i was holding winds and dragons <laughs> it's painful Newsy Pungs is, uh, oh, Newsy Pungs is what Patty was doing. What? Newsy Pungs. Number 52. Newsy Pungs. Oh, three different numbers punged in mixed suits with news and one when paired. Oh, okay. I see now. Thank you. I thought maybe you were trying for Wally. Newsy Pungs. Three different numbers punged in mixed suits with news and one when paired. She was pretty close. I think, I think she needed to pung the two and get rid of the white dragon. So she was pretty close. Just one good pick away. Yep, that's what her plan was. Okay, well, hopefully we can play at least two, uh, three more hands, maybe. But I think we're going to open it up and play anything at this point. And we'll play anything next week, too. We won't be focused on a, a particular category. We're just going to open it up and play anything. Play anything. We're going to try to win. Darn it. Okay, we need... I'll go ahead and be east. We'll do south and then west. We need one more player. Oh, Sue says she likes Wright Patterson. Me too. I do like it. I think it's fun that the hands have names on it, on them. I like the named hands. It's so much easier than saying, you know, consecutive run number seven. I mean, we still have a number to say sometimes if you want, but... I just think it's easier. Eventually, you memorize the hands. 
if you play often anyway. And with Wright Patterson being a, a style at March on time, we're going to be able to do it. Okay, let's see. We have a predominant pattern here of one suit and honors. So I think we should go for BAMs and then wins and dragons. That is called one suit and honors. In Asian versions, it's called a half flush. You could call it a half flush. But Wright Patterson Mahjong, it's called one suit and honors. More syllables than half flush. One suit and honors. One suit and honors. Eight Five and syllables eight. versus two. Oh, we're playing concealed. Now, one thing, what wind are we? We're south and west is prevailing. Okay. Two dots. I was thinking maybe we could try for a gate hand. Maybe we could play windy gates. One Number dots. 42. One, one, one in with a sequence of two through eight nine. Dots. Or... 999 nine, nine with a sequence of one through eight. We Mine wouldn't need a pair of simples here. But we could pung nine characters. We could pung the one or nine and own our prevailing wind. We Three have a pair bamboos. of west. We have a pair of west here. I wouldn't Six I wouldn't dots. pung the west until we had at least a one bam and then a four or five. We have, a, we have a gap. We have no four five. So probably Five what I would characters. look at here would be news lineup. News lineup is a sequence hand. Seven bamboo. Number 12 on page 18. Sequence of one and nine and one two bamboo with news and one when paired. Our bams are going down though. Seven dots. Oh, there's a bam. Four. Okay, characters. so now this is shaping up here for windy gates. Three We're kind characters. of in between, but we need we need a four bam and a one bam in here Six before we characters. before I would commit because you got to have those singles covered singles yeah three dots we might be able to try for windy gates six dots windy gates or news lineup three dots okay Sue four bamboos. We need a keeper. Three dots. One crack. No, we want we want a four one bam or a one bam. Now, one thing we could consider, if we were to get a one bam, we could try. Five characters. We could pong and then just be ready to win on a single tile, which would be the four bam. But that's risky because there's a four bam out at the moment. South win. There's a four bam out right now. Eight dots. I think I would stay concealed, especially four now. Characters. We have a, a pair of threes and a pair of eights now. Probably what I would do here Nine is switch characters. to Razzle. Five pairs in one suit with news. Eight characters. Or else switch to one suit and play Pung Chow. We can let the West go too. Two bamboos. We're going to pass. We're playing concealed. Four characters, seven bamboos, four characters, eight characters. Okay, we need bams. Two characters. I think that this version is a little easier with decision making because typically four you're dots. you're just in gather mode and you're just zeroed in and focused Six on dots. certain tiles. And there's not as much flexibility, characters. except that you're concealed and you can Six switch characters. if you have enough wall left. So there's four flexibility bamboos. in that regard. Okay, so Two there's dots. the second four bam out. But um, half Seven of the hands characters. are concealed. Okay, now we have to kind of make a choice in here. I think what we should do, one, two pair. Let's let the West go. West win. We've got dragons. I am kind of thinking maybe, maybe we could switch to Betty again, but 
four dice. I don't think so. I'd almost rather go with one suit and try for Pung Chow. That Pung oh, Chow is one of my favorite hands. A lot of BAMs are going down Eight though. characters. Red Dragon. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we're closer to Razzle or Dazzle. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Okay. One, two, three, seven, eight. Let's let the winds go. North wind. We're closer to Dazzle now. Number seven. Five pairs in one suit with red, white, and green two dragon dots. and one dragon paired. We have two pairs right now seven in bamboos. BAMs. But I'm kind of thinking, let's see. Eight dot. Two BAM. Eight dot. We don't need. Eight dots. We have seven, eight out. Five BAM. Four BAM. One dot. I'm just trying to think of how we can make chows with little, Nine bamboos. With little numbers. If we have, there are two, two BAMs out though. Two So Pung Chow is looking rough at the West moment. Win. Maybe we can get a seven. Here's seven, eight, nine. And we have six, eight inside our middle nine weight dots. is what that's called. We have three, four middle weight and a one, two, three chow. Two characters. I think I would probably try for Pung, Six dots. Pung Chow. We got a BAM. Okay, this Green is dragon. this is looking better for Pung Chow now. So we have seven, eight, nine chow, six, seven closed weight. Five, six, side weight, or basically we could get a four BAM or a seven BAM in there. And then we have a pair of threes, one, two, three. Nine It'd bamboos. be nice if we can get a four BAM or a three BAM in here. Seven, seven BAM would also be nice. We have three more picks seven and characters. two discards. So if two we pick dots. BAMs in our next two picks, we might be able to make this work. Pung Chow is number 16 on page 18. Five characters. Four Pungs and a Six Chow. Bamboos. Four Pungs or Chows in a pair. It's concealed. And you have to draw your winning tile. Five characters. We have two more picks. We got a BAM. Red Dragon. Okay, so set seven, eight, nine, double Chow there. Pair six. One, two, three, four Chow, dots. four BAM. If we can get a four BAM in here, four, dots. four BAM, seven BAM would be an ideal pick for us. Oh, we won't be able to win, Six though. Characters. Uh, let's see, one dot. I, that was just discarded recently. One dot. We came a long way for Pung Chow. Three bamboos. Oh, pass. All right. So it looks like we have... Betty, maybe, no, let's see, two, four, six, eight, dragon. I'm not sure what Laura was trying for. Mary was looking, looks looks like term, 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 uh, uh, terminets. And then Peg, maybe news, I don't know, angels maybe over there. I have to click quickly on play again or we lose the table. <whistles> trying for number seven, Terms of Honors. Okay, thank you, Patty. Patty was trying for number 77, Terms of Honors. Let's just look at that again. 77, three pairs of terminals and seven odd honors and one honor paired. I thought you were trying for um, maybe dragons in terms or honorettes is what I was thinking, but I didn't get a look too long. Okay. Hopefully we'll get to play two more hands. Two more hands, maybe. Okay. We'll, we'll have Laura be East. I'll be, uh, we'll have Mary be south. I'll be, I'll be west. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm getting sleepy. I'm kind of running out of steam.
there's Peg. Thank you for joining Peg. And we're off. Hopefully just two more games. Oh, thank you, Sue. She says, I appreciate how much you how much care you take in teaching. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here in our live streams. All right. Wow, this is going to be hard. Uh, we have five, seven, eight, and bams, two foreign cracks, pair two, one, two, nine, and dots, pair of green dragons, and north and a west. North and west with a pair of dragons. Two, four, two. I'm kind of thinking cracks or maybe maybe a, a number hand with twos. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. We have a pair with our twos in cracks. And then we have an equal, we have an equal number in each suit. Six dots. Let's see. Five, seven, eight, two, four, two, one, two, nine. No threes. Northwest and dragons. We'll just take it pick by pick. I wouldn't pick a hand or even a category here Six yet. Bamboos. I would just see what we get here. Nine bam. Now we have more bams. We do have honors building a little bit with that nine bam there so i think i would maybe let mm, let the two dot go two dots we're kind of in between a hand of honors and maybe bams five seven eight nine maybe we could play a jewel One hand dragon. jewel hands are on page 20. three dots. we would be playing three four five seven nine so maybe emerald number 33 is Eight emerald characters. we have a long way to go though okay we got a keeper there we're gonna let the cracks go now and we're gonna let the ones in nine the one nine go we're gonna we're gonna try for bams west wind and maybe we can play a jewel hand garnet four pumps and or chows and a pair all in three four five seven nine with uh, eight characters. Oh, not garnet. So sorry. Um, emerald. Three. That's a keeper. One dot. Three, four, five, seven, nine. Four emerald. And that's with bams. Emerald. Garnet. Same hand as garnet with red dragons and cracks. And Six opal characters. is white dragons with dots. It's basically the same hand, just different suits. Eight with bamboos. the corresponding dragon. And we're we're playing at the moment. We're playing concealed. We could technically chow that. No, because we don't we don't want the eight. Eight you can't use. It's three, four, five, nine seven, dots. nine. You can't chow. The chow is with three, four, five, not no eight. So there wouldn't be a eight chow, seven, eight, nine chow. It would be three, four, five chow. And we would, we would pung the seven and the nine to help us get there. Six characters. So if a four bam goes down, that's where we would decide whether or not we want to chow. And it could only come from the player on our left. Nine characters. Okay, so we'll let that go. Six dots. We do have some potential for Betty, number 10. Three pairs of simples with seven odd honors and one honor paired seven odd honors so we'll see how that goes four bamboos red dragon we have a ways to go we need keepers in here it'd be nice if we can get cleared to one suit and honors that's that's a good goal i think if you're playing with number tiles and suits, one suit and honors is a good goal. Nine dots. We have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. 
one dot. I'm kind of thinking we can expedite the hand by calling tiles. It would be a little bit risky. Two characters. Let's just see how we draw. Okay, north. Eight characters. Yeah, so that's kind of a tough pick because we have a pair of sevens in there. North, we really don't need that. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Now, what we could do is switch to a number hand. We would have to hoard dots in simples. Um, I see your question there, Sue. Let me just finish this thought. Three dots. We might be able to switch to neutrality if we can get dots because we could, we could East pung wind. the two crack, pung the seven, pung the north, and then hopefully pick up a five bam. But we need a pair of dots, dots so we could pung. Oh, there's a white dragon. Okay, I think what we should do is let the three bam go. Three bamboos. I'm kind of thinking we should try for either <laughs> Heavenly Hash or Seven Neutrality. Characters. If we can get dots, Neutrality might work. South wind. North with five bam is how that works. But we need to pair up dots is the problem. One dot. Oh, one dot. That is a, that's a terminal. Let's let the eight bam go. Eight bamboo. So we're kind of gathering in here a, a little bit of a hand of honors again. Seven dots. Maybe heavenly hash, which is seven number dots. 70 on page 25. Let's see, which dots do we need? Threes are down, sevens are down. Sixes Three are down, bamboos. so we need two, four, five. Okay, sixes are not possible because they're both down. So we need two, four, Six five, dots. or eight. Two, four, five, ideally, because they're not out yet. So if we get eight a two, bamboos. four, five dot, we might be able to switch to neutrality. Character. Neutrality is a hand, uh, is a number hand, and that is on page twenty-two, number forty-seven. So we're South between wind. neutrality and a hand of honors. Four characters. Probably heavenly hash. But we're going to have to make a choice soon. Four bamboo. Because I think north and green are going to go down soon. We might Four we characters. might be closer to heavenly hash. Okay, Sue's asking, is American Mahjong the most complicated? No, it's not. It is, I think... Um, American Mahjong with National Mahjong League rules Southwind. or any of those sibling hands, you, you know, the uh, sister versions like National or uh, American East Mahjong Wind. Association or Marvelous Mahjong, all of those. It's the hardest version to learn, but once Two you learn dots. it, it's the easiest one to play. Okay, so I think at this point we need to switch to a hand of honors. Two characters. We just don't have dots. That's a gap. So we're Three gonna dots. we're gonna let the simples go. But um, I think four dots. National Mahjong League version, American Mahjong, I think is the hardest one to learn. But once you learn it, it's the easiest one to play. I think that four characters. Richie Mahjong is the most sophisticated and complex. Two bamboos version the most strategic version is Richie mahjong which is japanese mahjong and then One mahjong dragon. competition rules is also complex because West it is wind. it is a sampler of different One versions character. so you have to know like 80 some 88 i think it's Two 88 characters. scoring combinations and they all have limitations Seven and, dots. and some flexibilities Two dots. so you have to know all the different components of the different scoring elements. So eight dots. Mahjong competition rules, also known as MCR, is also very complex Five bamboos. and hard to learn because of all the scoring elements. So I think MCR, Richie Mahjong, and American East Mahjong wind. are hard eight to characters. learn and 
complex. All the other ones are pretty easy to learn. Wright Patterson Mahjong Nine dots. is a little hard Two to dots. learn. It's hard to learn because of all the hands, but Five you have dots. six years to learn all those hands. So if you play often, you'll have hmm. them memorized. And when Four they dots. when they put out a new, let's see, three crack. I don't see any three cracks. Let's see what was just discarded here. We got to throw south was discarded a few minutes ago because there's no way we can win. South win. Um, but um, this version is Nine hard to characters. learn because of all the different names of hands. Six characters. Um, okay, Patty was trying for double numbers, threes and fives. Peg was trying for, it looks like, um, Shamrock. And then Laura was trying for, it looks like Heavenly heavenly Hopscotch. Okay, I think we're going to be able to play one more hand. So anyway, I hope that analysis kind of helped you, Sue, with the different versions. Hong Kong Mahjong is by far, yep, Shamrock. Peg was playing Shamrock, number six. Uh, but Hong Kong Mahjong is by far the easiest one to learn. Easiest one to learn, easiest one to play, for sure. So we'll play one more hand, and that will do it for this live stream. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us while we're playing or practicing, I should say, we're practicing Wright-Patterson Mahjong. We're hoping that the game will be live soon. And what we're not able to practice is the Charleston. There's one round of passes right across left, and that is it. Right across left, that's the only part of the game that we haven't been able to practice. Oh, we have lots of BAMs. I would play BAMs probably here. We have a pung of nines. I would be tempted to keep terminals and the wind for a little while. I'm thinking bands, but we might be able to play terminals. Four characters. Depending on how we draw. Hands of honors are higher point uh, values, um, mostly double and triple limit. So if I can go for those, I will. Six bamboos. We don't need cracks. Three characters. One dot. Seven characters. Two dots. North. We got a north. Eight dots. Okay, so maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a hand of honors here. We'll see. Three characters. Six dots. I'm thinking BAMs, hand of honors. I mean, a hand, one suit, one suit hand. You know what? What wind are we? Eat soup with nut. Oh, north. North is prevailing. Maybe we could play windy gates. Seven bamboo. Let's see. Oh, that's a pass. There's a terminal. I mean, an honor. Okay, Five so windy dots. gates. We do have some potential for windy gates. Three characters. Windy gates is number forty-two on page twenty-one. Eight dots. One 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 in one suit with two through nine or nine 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 with a sequence of one seven through bamboos. eight. Seven bamboos. Okay, we're gonna pass. Seven bams are going down. We got to keep that in mind because we need a sequence of eight in here, and then pung of owner prevailing wind, and. Five north characters. north is prevailing we're in eat soup we're in west sea but north is prevailing and we have a pair of norths if a north goes down i would pung because we could switch to a, a heavenly hash if we have to as plan b nine dots that seven bam is the risky tile for us Okay, there's a four. We have a pair in there now. Five dots. We don't need a pair in there. 
unless we switch to news uh, Razzle, five which is characters. five pairs with news, five pairs and one suit Three with news. Dots. And we do not need a pair. That would be number six. New uh, Razzle is what that's band. called. There's a one band. One and nine. Oh, my gosh. Let's see here. I think what we should do is let the four go. Four bamboos. Because now, now we're probably closer to terminets. wind. We're kind of close to terminets, maybe. Two Let me see. Dots. Not terminets. Five pairs with Green terminals. Dragon. No. Hmm. I'm thinking. I don't, win. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's see here. We Eight have, characters. We have a ways to go before we have to decide. Six characters. North, a pong now. I think we should try for Windy Gates. Red Dragon. We need a... Let's see. Eight we don't characters. need the one. We don't need the one. We need a two. Let me see here. Wait. Let me read Windy Gates again. One through eight. We do need the one. One through Red eight. Dragon. We need a two BAM, a five BAM, and a seven BAM. Six characters. Okay, darn, Red Dragon. We just let Red that go. Dragon. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. <laughs> nice to see you here. Sound We're wind. maybe going to try for Windy Gates. We have a Pung of Norse now. So let's let seven the nines characters. go in these off, the offsuit. We need a seven BAM. Three dots. Seven BAM would be ideal. Oh, geez. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Nine characters. This is where I get tempted to play a hand of honors, but we don't have enough to really Three switch. Dots. I think we should try for Windy Gates. Four dots. We need a seven BAM badly. And then two five BAM. Two five Eight BAM. Bamboos. Oh, six dots. Six dots. Now we could be ready on a single tile. Six characters. We're actually two away. And we have a big wall left for, we have a lot Eight of, a long bamboos. way to go. We need that seven BAM would be the ideal pick. Eight characters. Four crack. Four characters. We're trying for Windy Gates, number 42 on page 21. Six bamboos. We're good there. We need a two BAM, five BAM, seven, seven BAM. Oh no, there's only one more seven left. Two characters. Only one more seven BAM. Okay, we'll let the two go. Two characters. Somebody wants that. <laughs> Somebody's thinking hard on that one. Hmm. Oh, a pung, a pung of twos with a pung of dragons, a pung Seven of twos dots. with a pung of dragons. Five oh, bamboos. you know what? No, wait a minute. What are they doing? Maybe they're playing. Is it, is it gemstones? Let me see here. One crack. We do not. Let's let the nine go. Nine dots. Okay. We're trying to figure out what. We're trying to figure out what Laura, what Laura is playing. Five characters. Five dots. Okay, so, oh man, here's news: north, east, west. One, two, seven, eight, nine. Let's let the one go. One character. Okay, let's try to figure out what she's playing. Is she playing a Six novelty bamboos. hand? She might be trying for a novelty Four hand. Characters. Remember the novelty hands, page 19. Pung of twos with Seven green dragons. Dots. Pung of twos with green dragons. White dragon. Pung of twos. South wind. Um, Two dots. Two bamboos. Okay, I'm perplexed. 
Oh, we need that one crack, darn it. One character. Okay, Pung of Twos. What do you guys think Eight she's dots. playing? We're playing Wright Patterson. Seven characters. We're playing Wright Patterson Mahjong. Nine characters. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out. Oh, my goodness. Look what we got. Oh, wow. Where are we? East and West. East was thrown. We'll throw East. East wind. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll Seven find out characters. here in a minute. I'm having a hard time figuring out where Four she's playing. Bamboos. Um, Asian hash. Three different numbers punged in each suit with a pung and a pair of opposite honors. Asian hash. Laura, were you trying to play Asian hash? Let's see here. Somebody was texting me. Pat, Patty's been texting me. Patty was trying for Heavenly Hopscotch. Let's go over here and look. 13579 in Heavenly Hopscotch. 13579 in two suits. And then I thought it was 2468 in a third suit. Oh, you're playing Hopscotch. Hopscotch is number 54. 135 in one suit, 1357 in a second suit, 13579 in a third suit with a pair of Windsor Dragons. Oh, you came a long way there. Good job. And it looks like uh it looks like Peg was maybe trying for 13 orphans. She had two pair in there of of one one and nine. So maybe she could have played Heavenly Hash as well. And then here, maybe were you trying for try numbers, Laura? Try numbers. Try numbers. That's what she was trying for. Number 49, pungs of the same number in each suit with a pung and a pair of wins or a pung and a pair of dragons. Try numbers. Number 49. Good job, Laura. You were gathering. So you committed. That's a risky because you have sing, sing, single twos, but at least you have no gaps. And here I was trying for heavenly gates, but we couldn't get the seven bam. And of course we needed two, five, two and five bam, but the twos were all, the twos were in everybody's hands. So we were in each other's business there. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Peg, Patty, Laura, Thank you so much for joining me at the table to practice Wright Patterson Mahjong. And I just want to, get, again, give a quick shout out to Slava and his team at Mahjong Time. Thank you so much for developing Wright Patterson Mahjong. We are all waiting on pins and needles to play this game. So please let us know when we can start beta testing. And also, if you haven't joined Mahjong Time yet, please join. Send me an email. I can send you information about their VIP trial. And that way, when they release Wright Patterson Mahjong, we could play together. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, thank you, moderators, for helping moderate the chat. We'll see you again Friday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for Simply Social. Let's play live stream at Mahjong Time again. Thanks for coming to this Let's Play live stream. And if you're watching the repost, Thanks for watching my videos. Mods, thanks for monitoring the chat. Please share about the Maj Life YouTube channel with your friends. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, May all your picks be keepers.